Hey, welcome back to Northwest Survivalist. I'm Gary Marsh. And today's video, we're gonna talk about the stainless steel uh, survival kit from Rothko. It's got quite a bit of stuff in it. Let's get after it. Okay, so uh, the stainless steel survival kit by Rothko uh, says it's combat tested since 1953. Uh, that would be Rothko themselves uh, tested since 1953. Uh, let's see how this bad boy is. Uh, when you first pull it out, you can see that it's got stainless steel blades, magnifier, uh, wire saw, adhesive bandage, fire starter, cotton, Wound pad, safety pins, candle, compass whistle, snare wire, fishing hooks with line, sewing and needles and thread, waterproof capsule, stainless steel survival tool. All right, well, it's it looks taped up. Uh, when you get these, this is exactly how they come. Uh, let's see if I can open this up. Wow, if it's going to go wrong, it'll go wrong on video, right? <laughs> uh, just keep peeling this. Hang on one second. Okay, I think I got it all. Yeah, it looks like it. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Oh, nice. So far, so it's got everything individually uh, packaged here, it looks like. So when you look at it and you pull it out, there's the saw. Well, it looks like a pretty nice saw. Let's pull this thing out and see. Take a look at it. Oh yeah, you can really see that. That's a uh, that's a nice looking saw. All right. This here looks like just a something you can put tinder into or medications maybe. This looks like a whistle. In case of emergency, open capsule. Well, I know it's not an emergency, but I opened the capsule. Looks like there's a little something in there. I'll pull that out. So basically this is a item where you can put all your information in this, right? In case of emergency, notify your relationship, home business, blah, 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 blah. Sex, hair, blood type, family physician. This is pretty cool. Um, I will get that back in there. Uh, more than likely, they just, they kept it like this so that you could actually get it back into the bigger side uh, when they wrapped it. They wrapped it in that. I can get it back in there. Of course there's going to be a candle most places carry the candles uh, i would probably take this out and replace it with some of my uh, own personal uh, fire tender but a candle works pretty well and candles like these if you're out camping right you can actually make your tent um, really warm inside just by a, a small candle like this uh, just to let you know that we used to do that all the time when we were climbing. You got a magnifying glass. Looks like a bit of a fishing kit here. So you got your hooks, a little bit of line, some sinkers. Pretty nice. And then a sewing kit. So there's your needle and thread. And then you have, it looks like a uh, fire tender here. That's basically a really thick uh, solid cotton ball there. And then you have a ferro rod. 
This is pretty nice. Looks pretty good. Uh, it's a small ferro rod, which is fine because it is a survival kit. This is something that you would probably put in your, uh, let's say just, I, me personally, I would probably put something like this in a backpack when I'm just traveling around like my work bag, when I'm going back and forth, this would be a really good survival kit for that. Uh, glove box, you know, this could be a really good one for a glove box. Uh, it's got a lot of good stuff in it here. You got safety pins, and then you have your compass, along with some wire. Well, I can tell you right now, it is pointing in the right direction. So it looks like it looks like it's pretty well uh, accurate enough to get you out of a situation. Then you have looks like razor blades. You can kind of see it in the shadow. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to open it up, but uh, that's a razor blade. Looks like a, oh, an even bigger razor blade. And then the coolest thing of all, uh, you also have a wound pad here and that's it. And then you got your container. But this is a cool little tool right here. I've been really looking forward to uh, taking a look at this bad boy. But this here is a multi-tool. I mean, you can you can use this to open cans, uh, just can opener, um, all kinds of things. A bottle opener here. You can measure out items. There's just a whole bunch of things here. That's a pretty decent uh, sharp blade there. That acts as a, a little bit of a blade. That's pretty sharp. So you got just you got yourself a nice little multi tool here. That's really really thin and. Uh, Excellent piece of uh, excellent piece of steel too, stainless steel. So that is the uh, Rothko's stainless steel survival kit. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. I uh, I'm pleasantly surprised with how they laid this one out. I think the only thing that I would do different is I would add my own personal uh, fire starter to this kit, and I would. I could probably get more stuff in here if I changed out the candle and changed out the the compass. But hey, you know what? This is a really good uh, beginner's kit here. And even a, an advanced um, individual can also use this as well. Pretty good. I absolutely like this. Okay, so I, I do, uh, I am, uh, as I said earlier in previous um, videos, I'm a Rothko distributor, and um, you can find this kit on my website. I'll leave a link below that uh, will take you to the site. It's called NorthwestSurvivalist.com, and uh, it's a relatively new site. I used to run PDC Safety, and I uh, had some survival videos and, and product on that, uh, but that's more of a safety and security style site. Whereas uh, Northwest Survivalist is all survival equipment, survival items that um, you can make on your own, as well as emergency preparedness. So with that, uh, I hope you got a little bit out of this and got a little better idea of the Roth uh, Rothko Stainless Steel Survival Kit. This, this looks to me like a, a great a great kit to uh, just throw, throw in your... Uh, work bag and your glove box and a uh, actually it could work out to be a, a pretty good everyday carry too so with that let me know what you think about the the kit the design and uh, hope you have a great day so uh, real quick I just wanted to let you know some of the other things that you can do with this multi-tool here this is a tool card by the way and you can do, it. it's got a can opener on it, which is right here on the corner. It has a knife edge, which is right there. Then you have your uh, flathead screwdriver, which is right here. All right. And then metric ruler right across here. Um, you have your bottle opener, which is this part right here. And then you have an outer hex wrench. That would be, let's see, where's the outer hex wrench here? Oh, right here. So this is all the hex wrench area here. 
and that will fit four different sizes. Then you have your butterfly screw wrench, and then uh, bearing plate for compass, that would be this one. Wood saw blade, that would be this end, this side right here. That's a really, really sharp uh, blade there. I wonder how long it will last. Probably enough to get you out of a, a, a situation. And then outer hex wrench, and then a uh, lanyard hole, which is that bad boy right there. So yeah, it's got a few items on it. It's 11 different tools in one. Okay, so one thing that uh, is lacking in this kit that I just realized as I was putting it all back away, pretty cool, I, got it, I actually got it all back in, um, into the case. So anyway, the one thing that I would like to have seen in this is some sort of of cord you could do oh man a, a really good cord would be something like the cypress loop um, this stuff right here is really strong 50 meters of this breaking street on strength on this is 185 uh, so it's it's really strong uh, we used to use this with uh, tools that we would pack parachutes with and uh, it works really well. So I, I always try to find this stuff and uh, get a roll of it whenever every chance I get. So, but yeah, I would um, I would actually add some of this to it. Maybe 50 feet of this. It's small enough, right? And you could actually even wrap it around the kit itself, right? Instead of having the tape around the outer edge, you could just have this wrapped around, right? You know, 50 feet of this, that go a long ways. Um, I would suggest at minimum 25 feet, maybe 30 feet of this, you know, and you can make it all nice and pretty and all that good stuff. But yeah, that would that would work really well. Uh, so I would get about 25, 30 feet of this and uh, just take the tape off and just use uh, cordage. Um, with that, yeah, so that's, that's essentially the only thing that I would... Um, I would add to the kit.